Hello there, dearies. My name is Old Tom. Old Tom the Old Tonding. An old friend, you may say. Or a new one, depending on who you're looking at. Well, Old Tom's got an old story for you. A story, perhaps, as old as this tree itself. A story of two little girls. Two girls that came from completely different backgrounds you may see. There was one from a poor family. She was poor, miserable, had not a friend in the world. The other one, rich family, but also poor in a way. She had no friends, no to speak of, no, 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 none of that. But then, for a chance of meeting, they met up and fell in love with their love of art. Yes, their love of art, was a thing of beauty. Whole worlds, like this one right here, created by them for old Tom. But, regrettably, people didn't understand them. Not one bit, you see. The girls were misunderstood, you see, by their community. They thought they were more than friends. A little too attached, if you know, is what I say. But, weren't like that at all. They were just good friends. Friends that loved to express themselves through their arts. Something that could not be understood by their little village. Especially with the type of religion they were having. They were planning to drive them away. Cross the seas. And good thing in two. For you see, they became a wee bit too attached. To the point where they could commit devious of murder. Murder the most foul kind. Murder of your mother. Murder of that sort. Don't do you good. Not says old Tom. Not says old Tom. However, one of the girls managed to drag out her mother and kill her most violent like. They were almost given the death penalty, you know. Regrettably, though, they were too young for that. So instead, they were taken away to a juvie hall, separated, and told to never meet each other again. And then after that story, they were demonized by the public, they was. Thought of as lesbian killers or something like that. Whatever it was, made them monsters, and that weren't right. Along then came a man named Peter Jackson. He made a film about them, you see, Heavenly Creatures. A film that shows them as not as the monsters they once were, but show them off as the troubled innocent that they were. And one of them actually is now a writer, Anne Parry, makes murder mysteries funny enough. Well, old Tom's got to go now. Got some things to be doing, he does. See you later, children, for another story to tell of the wondrous world that is around. Tom's got to go now. However, before he goes, I'd just like to say, if I had to rate this film, I have to rate it about, ooh, an eight, a nine out of ten. Well, it ain't perfect. It's good enough for old Tom. Old Tom thinks so. But now old Tom's going to leave you with his friend, Aaron Barron, over here, and he'll talk about what he can see. God rest you, children. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the bell for notification. And don't forget to follow us on our social medias such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And we also have a Patreon. If you enjoyed this review of Peter Jackson's film Heavenly Creatures, then on your, then on your left, there's a review for Bad Taste. And on your right, there's your review there's our review of Meet the Feebles. 
you can click on those if you're interested.